everybody, I'm Ashley and Kaino from the My Best Self Project and welcome to our full moon Tarascope forecast. Okay, so this is a little different from my dailies. This is how it's going to work. I am going to pull one card per zodiac sign to really see how this full moon is going to be specifically influencing and affecting you according to your sign. But not only that, I'm not just doing cards, I'm actually going to tie in astrology as well. So this is a full moon in Leo, which means that it's happening in the... Um, in the area, the zodiac sign of Leo, okay, but what does that mean, mean for you? Well, if you're not a Leo, then it means it's happening in a different sector of your chart, a different house system. So yes, it has this overall energy of being Leo, um, which means it's things to do with the heart, it's to do with fun, it's to do with passion, but if you're not actually a Leo, then it also is doing other things for you and it's illuminating your chart. So I'm going to tie that together with each card. So it's awesome. Um, so to begin, I'm going to pull one card from my Moonology deck just to see the overall message that we're getting about this moon. And then I'm going to do the 12 cards, one for each zodiac sign, and then stay tuned to the end because I'm going to pull one final card for just one big overall message. And don't forget, I also am doing a live full moon release ritual on the day of the full moon on Monday the 21st, and it's totally free. It's in my Facebook group, Soul Sister Tribe. The link is in the description click that we do the live ritual in that group and everyone in the group joins it's a live stream and it's super powerful so if you're interested in joining that just click the link in the description I would love to see you there okay so to kick this off let's have a look and see what message we can get here about this full moon um, according to our moonology cards so it says here look at the bigger picture full moon and Sagittarius so this full moon for us is very much about really stepping back from ourselves right now and looking at what it is that really lights us up and makes us happy here because the full moon in Leo like I said it's about things manifesting things culminating coming to a head all to do with matters of the heart of love romance fun creativity children so if you're having any issues going on in your life right now or you may find that there are issues coming up because that's what happens on a full moon. Not only does it manifest, it actually brings things to the surface, it illuminates, it lights them up, and it's letting you know that there's some kind of blockage, there's something going on here that needs to be released in order for you to manifest in this area. So if you've got any of that stuff going on, you definitely wanna check out this reading and you definitely wanna hit up my release ritual that I'm doing on Monday. So it's telling you to look at the bigger picture here when it comes to what lights you up of things of the heart, of dating, of love, of romance, of children, and creativity. Okay, so let's get stuck into the meat of this reading. I know this is what you're all waiting for. So I'm just going to give a shuffle. So it's going to be one card per zodiac sign to see how this full moon in Leo, which is also a total lunar eclipse, by the way, which makes it super powerful, um, seeing how this is going to be affecting and influencing you. Okay, so we have got it. The card on the bottom is going to be our overall card for the end. So first up, we have Aries, Aries, this full moon is transiting your fifth house, which is actually the house of Leo. So you're getting this double whammy of Leo energy where you're seeing things manifest and come to the surface to do with the heart, to do with the pursuit of pleasure, hobbies, creativity, children, love, dating, all of that kind of stuff. So if you're an Aries, this is a really cool time to see that manifesting and coming into your life. Or maybe you're seeing issues coming up there, something that doesn't feel quite right. The full moon is letting you know this is the perfect time to release those and let go with this full moon so that you can see forward progress in that area. And here we have life experience, which says a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change, time to spread your wings. So this is also known as the tower card. So I feel like maybe you've had a tower moment in your life and that means something that it fell apart on you something that really was quite significant and life-changing but now it's saying to you with this full moon it's time to release all the hurt and the pain that came with that moment in your life and recognize what it's actually done and why it had to be torn down now is your time to rise from the ashes so use this full moon to give up all that pain and all that hurt and to really step into your power and to rebuild and come back even stronger that's truly what this card is about as it says here time to spread your wings it's time the rise from the ashes so use this full moon Aries to really let it go and step into your power and this these matters of the heart 
Okay, next up we have Taurus. So Taurus, this full moon is transiting your fourth house of home and family. It's a very um, self-explanatory house. It's about stability, it's about security, it's about your roots, your family life, where you came from, um, your family life now, your physical home. So you could be seeing things manifest, coming into fruition in this area. Perhaps you're like moving home, getting a new house, um, there's a new family member coming in, or it could be that there's issues arising there that need to be released with the full moon so that things can move forward there. And for you, we have got the page of fire. So it says, news of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. So this can be about having some kind of creative spark, some kind of creative idea when it comes to your home and family life, maybe some kind of self home improvement, um, maybe wanting to get that new house, having that kind of like clarity or aha moment, or wanting to do something really unique when it comes to your family. This could also be a little bit of a spark when it comes to a new family member coming in, some kind of creative spark, there could be something coming in there. And just a reminder, even though you may not be a Leo, it's letting you know that we still have that energy with this moon of the things to do with the heart which could include conception. So just keep a little eye out there. This could be what's going on, but ultimately it's about you having confidence and really feeling in your power when it comes to your home and family life. Okay, next up we have Gemini. Gemini, this full moon is transiting your third house of communication and expression of your siblings and of your community or your entourage. So not necessarily your big network of everyone, but more like your closer network of people. And so you could be seeing things uh, manifest in that area. Maybe you've been thinking about uh, publishing something or expressing some kind of message with the world, starting that YouTube channel, writing that book, or even working in some kind of communications area. This could be to do with working more with your community or doing something with your siblings, or there could be issues there that need to be let go of. So use the full moon to release that so you can move forward. But the really cool thing with the card we've got here is the six of fire, and this is the victory card. So if you have been like working on your skills and your communication or wanting to like do something where you're expressing your message into the world, whether that's publishing that book, Whatever it is, it's saying here that you're going to have success. This is the success card. It says victory, good news is on its way, public recognition or awards. So this is pretty badass here. So like I said, if you're working on something, you could be seeing this manifesting with this full moon or maybe there's some kind of issue arising just for you to release so that you can get the success to come in. All right, we have Cancer. Cancer, this full moon is transiting your second house, which is pretty awesome because that's all to do with like your finances and your material world, your job, not anyone else's. It's money that you're bringing in. So Cancer, this full moon is really lighting up the area of your chart to do with this, um, the things you value, your possessions, even your self-worth. So you could be seeing things manifest in that area, job opportunities, more income coming in, um, even seeing your own self-worth grow or maybe there's some issues in that area where it's saying this is the time to now release them so we can move forward and I love that the card we got with this is the ace of earth because this is all about material things this is about prosperity and income and finances and it's about new opportunities coming in to achieve that as it says the inflow of abundance a promising business ad adventure a promising business venture important documents or contracts so this really ties into the energy for you guys of manifesting brand new opportunities in this area to create prosperity abundance, security, stability, uh, stable family life, um, all of that stuff. And if not, if there are issues, it's time to give it up to the full moon to release so you can have this. All right, Leo, this is your moon. So this means that it's in your first house. Not only are you getting the Leo um, heart-based energy, love, fun, children, romance, all that kind of stuff, um, but you're also getting this whole kind of massive change just in your your personality in your outer world. I always say when anything first house is happening, it's like your personal new year. Whenever it's January 1st, which we just had, we all have these resolutions. I'm going to change this. I'm going to do that. But this is what this energy is for you. You're going to be seeing things manifest when it comes to your world, um, your physical world, your body. So maybe you're uh, achieving stuff when it comes to your health. Maybe this is about changing your appearance, your personality, how the world sees you. 
Um, it could also be to do with having issues arise there that need to be released and let go of with this full moon so you can see successful changes in this area. But your card that we got is the Eight of Fire. So it's saying events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things happening at once. So I get this vibe of for you Leos, because this is first house energy, it's like really big transformations and really big changes are coming in for you here with this full moon energy. It's really lighting up this uh, full moon for you. It's really shining a light on any areas that need to be addressed when it comes to the heart and when it comes to like your um, outer world and your appearance and your health and your body and all of that stuff. And it's about really making rapid change and seeing rapid changes coming in there. And again, like I said, if there are issues, then it's lighting it up so you can see them to release them, clear them out of the way so you can make forward progress. All right, next up we have Virgo. Virgo, this full moon is transiting your 12th house. So this is your inside. This is your inner world, seeing things come to light that need to be released for healing. And I actually like this a lot because because this is a full moon in Leo, like I said, overall for everyone, this is about um, healing of the heart. It's about releasing things, blockages um, that stop us from our happiness and from love and from all of that. But it's also about manifesting in that area. Cool. But because for you, Virgo, this is also your 12th house of the inner world, this full moon is really getting a light shining on those past pains and traumas that are holding you back from having love or from feeling that fulfillment in your heart of all the things that you want and your happiness and your joy, okay? So it's saying here, pay attention to what's coming to the surface and the inside to be healed. Also like spiritual revelations. This is a really good time for you to like really look at psychic development or your intuition. What's your intuition telling you? This is all your inner world. Okay. But I definitely get a strong sense of really getting lit up on the inside about things that have maybe been buried to do with past relationships, past loves. And it's now time to bring it to the surface to release, to be healed. And with this card we got, or with this, we've got the nine of fire, which says, don't give up, protect that which you've created, have courage and believe in yourself. So I feel like this is telling you, don't give up on love. Don't give up on being able to heal yourself and being able to attain the love and happiness that you want in your life, okay? Like dig in, do the work here, okay? Have the courage to face what is coming up here with your 12th house issues, because this is the stuff you bury that you don't really want to face. And it's saying, look, this moon is going to bring it up to the surface for you to really address. So it it's time to look at it and release it and let it go so that you can have that space within now to bring in the love and happiness that you want. So don't stop now. It's time to dig in and be that warrior and really face the truths that need to be healed and let go. All right, so now we have Libra. Libra, this full moon is transiting your 11th house of your social networks and your friendships and also to do with your goals and your dreams. So that means you could be seeing maybe issues coming up in this area, issues with friends, maybe not feeling like you're clicking with certain social circles anymore, uh, maybe some kind of specific friend, like not gelling with them. It could also be that maybe there are issues coming up in regards to your goals and your dreams, or you could just be seeing things manifest in this area. But the card we've got for you here is the Ace of Air. And I love it because this is like clarity. This is like getting that aha moment. This like your mind clearing and being like, okay. So I feel like because the full moon is in your 11th house of your goals and your dreams and your friendships and social circles, you're seeing things really clearly now as to how you want to move forward with your goals or with your friends. Really getting that moment of like, okay, yeah, I want to start really finding the like-minded people, the people who get me, the, my soul tribe, the people I can really connect with, okay? And maybe having to let go and release old friendships that aren't serving you anymore. But ultimately, this is about moving forward towards your dreams and towards your goals. As it says, brilliant new ideas and inspirations. Seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. So for you Libras out there, this is about the aha moment and getting the clarity to really just start to cut people out and these new beginnings in these areas to do with the goals and dreams and friendships and social circles. Woo! Take a breath, Ashleen. All right, next up we have Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, this full moon is transiting your 10th house, which is all to do with your career, your life purpose, your status and reputation in the world. And so that means you could be seeing issues coming up because the full moon does that, things that need to be released, blockages are stopping you from your life purpose or your career and so on. Or you could be seeing these things manifest for you. And I love the card we got for you as the queen of earth, because this is like someone who can really create all that wealth and prosperity. She's kind of like the master of her material world. She's the hostess with the mostess. She is that motherly energy, that status. She has that like 
head of the household status and that's what the 10th house is as well it's your status in the world so maybe some of you are going to be stepping into parenthood or stepping up into the next level of like maybe going from being a singleton to like marriage or whatever but it's saying here, make time for those around you, take a sensible approach, deal with challenges in a kind of in a kind and understanding matter. So if there are any challenges coming up to do with your career, your life purpose, it's really calling upon you right now to look within and see what it is that lights you up. What do you love and what do you want to do? And as soon as you start really searching this area, you're going to get answers. And this is all about doing something that you feel like you can just create wealth and prosperity and stability, like magic, like what she's doing. She's just like really manifesting. She's making this like beautiful cauldron of gold just appear out of like her heart and her creativity and so on and so forth. So it's saying here for you, Scorpios, look, this is the time to really look at what you want to do where it's going to light you up and prosperity is just going to come to you. Okay. So use the full moon for releasing blockages there and also manifesting that. All right, Sagittarius, we have this full moon transiting your ninth house. So this is of the bigger picture of broadening your horizons. It can be to do with higher education, going back to school, uh, foreign travel, learning about new cultures, new languages, all that stuff where it's like leveling up when it comes to your intellect, spiritual realization, just seeing the world from that bigger, higher perspective. And the fact we got unity here is awesome because this card is all about that it's about faith it's about spirituality you can even see the symbols here there's different spiritual symbols we've got like the Jew the star of David we've got um the Christian crucifix we have all these different symbols of religion and it's about spirituality and just learning what you can from all of them and growing yourself in this area so Sagittarius I feel like this is a time for you to really just um get more spiritual and to lean into like the bigger picture of life and what you want as well and where you want to go. And actually, now that I think about it, the ninth house is actually the house of Sagittarius. So this moon is actually triggering you. It's actually like helping you manifest the things that are you. So like I said, like being more goal driven and maybe wanting to do long distance travel or learning that new language, that's who you are. You're that person. You're the arrow, right? You're the hunter who just points the arrow where they want to go. And it's like, I'm going after it. It may take 10 years or whatever, but I'm going. That's what this is saying here. Lean into faith. Lean into that bigger picture. It says traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organization, seek out mentors and like-minded friends. So it's really telling you to use this full moon to manifest what you want when it comes to your bigger pictures, your goals your dreams um, when it comes to your spiritual realization utilizing this energy but also there may be blockages coming up in that area for you to release so that you can move forward and make progress in that area all right Capricorn we have the full moon transiting your eighth house so this is very much about transformations like big transformations but also to do with um, joint resources business partnerships and intimacy so you could be seeing issues arising in this area of perhaps um, issues going on with your partner and how they earn. Or if you don't have a partner, this could be to do with um, your business associates. It could be to do with loans. It could be to do with like taxes. Um, just money that's not necessarily earned by you, but from another source. It could even be business partners, having clients, all that kind of stuff. Maybe there's issues arising there that need to be addressed or you're seeing stuff manifest in this area, business, which is awesome. But also it has that aspect of intimacy. So maybe seeing things manifest, we're building an intimate connection with a significant person. Um, or maybe there's issues there that need to be addressed in order to go further into that intimacy area. Ultimately, it's about having big transformations in this area and manifesting. And if there are blockages there, release them. But we got the seven of fire card and it's telling you to really dig into your goals and stand true to who you are. It says, defend your beliefs and decisions stand your ground choose your battles wisely so i feel this is telling you power forward capricorn do what you do best which is digging into your goals and it's telling you here stand true to your vision and what you want so if this is to do with building a business building more clients seeing that income coming in from those other resources go for it dig in don't give up now is not the time to give up keep going keep holding that vision and also the same thing with intimacy like move forward and just stand true in what you know you want to achieve when it comes to these um, significant relationships around you don't give up it may be a challenging time with big transformations going on keep going 
All right, so we have Aquarius. We're getting there, guys. Two signs to go. Aquarius, this full moon is translating your seventh house of relationships. So this could be that you're seeing things manifest in the area of a significant relationship developing for you, or maybe there are issues going on there in your relationships that really need to be looked at and addressed and released with this full moon. Very straightforward. Um, this is also relationships leveling up. So you could see things manifesting there, like getting engaged, getting married, and so on. And I love that we got the two of fire because this is about partnerships. It says you've come into your own new partnerships or contracts, continue to move forward. So it's about stepping down this new path of making the choice to go down this new path um, with this other person and doing it together. And you're maybe at the very beginning of it, but it's letting you know like this is the right path for you. Keep going. This new person could be coming in or like I said, stepping down this new path of commitment, but it's telling you to keep going. So seeing beautiful things manifest there for you, Aquarius, or if there are issues, it's time to look at them, address and release with the full moon. And then finally, we have Pisces, my Piscean friends. This is, um, this full moon is transiting your sixth house of your daily work routines and your health. So this is really seeing things manifest and come into fruition to do with your health. Maybe you've been working on your health and wellness, all those kind of goals. Um, maybe you've been looking at your work routines. Maybe they've been very out of balance or you've got a lot going on, which I would say that's what's happening with the 10 of fire card here. So this full moon is really shining a light on getting balance and getting control over your daily routine, your daily schedule. Like I feel like there's so much going on. You've got work and you've got school and you've got trying to see friends and making time for you. And it's all like, ah, you know, family, everything. The 10 of fire card is saying here too much work, except help from others. Life is out of balance, stress related health concerns. I feel it's very important for you right now, Pisces, to use this full moon to really look at what you can do to alleviate your stress, what you can do to make this smoother for you right now, what needs to be released, um, any kind of blockages, so that you can actually successfully manifest balance in your daily work, like, work life and your health. Because if you don't, maybe you'll be seeing health issues arise because the sixth house is the house of health as well. And it even says here, stress-related health concerns. So if there's anything arising, if your body's talking to you, listen and use Use this energy to really release that with the full moon and manifest the balance that you want with your health and your work routines. All right, so on the bottom, we've got our overall card for this moon. I love it. We have got the 10 of air. So it says the end of a difficult situation, embrace the change and expect things to get better, recovering from an addiction. For me, this is really talking about how you've been through some kind of very challenging time in your life and it's letting you know that that is coming to an end. So this full moon is bringing in more happiness, more fun. It's bringing in love and it's bringing in children if that's your goal or if there have been issues with children you may see things resolving there but it's letting you know now is the time to accept that if things have been rough in this area for you they are changing for the better that is done so now is the time to embrace what is manifesting with this full moon bringing in more happiness bringing in more fun those hobbies and like new love and dating and so on and knowing that the past is the past and to let it go and any past pains and hurts that have come in in this area of happiness and love and all of that like let those blockages go release it with the full moon so you can step into this new phase of creating more love and happiness in your life all right you guys i hope you enjoyed this full moon taroscope um again i invite you to join my full moon release ritual because as you can see for each sign there's a lot of shit to release um that is happening on monday the 21st at 10 p.m eastern which is 7 p.m pacific um and other than that i look forward to bringing you your daily taroscopes and your weeklies and all of that on my youtube channel so talk to you all soon bye